What's up guys, Dr. Brooks, Des Moines Spine and Sport with another Movement Monday piece. Um, today we're talking basically heel pain, okay? Over the last few weeks I've seen a number of runners that presented to the office with, with heel pain. Um, most of those runners are dealing with a very similar injury and that has to deal with an, an Achilles injury. So um, the Achilles tendon, basically this big white meaty portion of the posterior heel, otherwise known as the heel cord, is the, the strongest biggest tendon in the human body that takes a, takes a beating with runners especially when you talk about endurance athletes when the, in high volume athletes. Um, most of the athletes that I've presented this, this, these last few weeks have been dealing with what's known as Achilles tendinosis. Okay, so a couple weeks ago I talked about the difference between a plantar fasciitis and a plantar fasci fasciosis. Okay, so the big thing that I want to touch on again too is there's a, a massive difference in terms of the treatment approaches for those two injuries. Itis implies acute inflammation Tendinosis implies a degenerative non-inflammatory condition. Um, but either tendinitis or a tendinosis, I'm going to talk about a really basic um, strategy for you to utilize at home to kind of relieve basically some irritation off of that Achilles tendon that has to deal with feeding tension into that system. So feeding tension into that Achilles tendon has to do with basically elongating some of the structures upstream of that Achilles tendon. Typically the structures downstream of that tendon aren't as problematic, but sometimes those are worth addressing as well. But today we're going to talk upstream of that Achilles tendon, um, specifically into the calf. Okay, so the Achilles tendon um, basically joins the muscles of the gastroc, the soleus, and the plantaris. Um, the gastroc and soleus are the two muscles that are most problematic, the ones that have some of that extra tension that's going to irritate that Achilles. One of the first things that anybody can do for that is basically a static wall stretch. So what you do is kick that foot up the wall, and the idea would be to hang out in this position and really work that knee to the front of the wall or the front of the box and hold that position for a good 30 to 45 seconds. Um, another great way would be to utilize a good old foam roller handle or the cross ball and get into those tissues, beat them into submission, and once again, feed some tension into that Achilles tendon. Um, take a look at those strategies there if you're dealing with some heel pain. Think tendonitis versus tendinosis. This is Dr. Brooks with Des Moines Spine and Sport and another Movement Monday piece.